Can you grab a bumper sticker and head on back? Paula will be here in a couple minutes. I'm running because the, need, the people's needs are ultimately the greatest concern that I have. Uh, coming from rural Idaho, being uh, raised by a community of elders and uh, citizens of Idaho who have been plagued by income inequality and plagued by uh, lack of access to health care in the, the best uh, world-class education that we can provide. And being a mother, I know that all of these uh, concerns that we have have not been addressed in the state legislative house. So it has been put upon me in form of res personal responsibility and as an ask for my community to step up and bring this type of leadership to the State House. <laughs> and then Paulette, give us her message. So. You know, this is really what leadership is all about. You know, there's uh, one thing that people didn't realize in our campaigns when we were running in the primary, and that's how well we got along. And to me, that is how you run for office. My qualifications are simple. I mean, I can definitely allude to the uh, education, I can allude to the experience, but first and foremost, it's my abil ability to listen. The abil ability to listen and put the voices of the people at the forefront. I think that ultimately is your greatest qualification if you're going to serve the people. I have served four years in the State House, uh, two terms, of course I shortened the, the fourth year, uh, but that was to really commit to this campaign. To me, it was very important to know and to project that it shouldn't come down to which party you're aligned with. You should ultimately be first and foremost about the people in the community. No more empty promises. We need real solutions with real action. And they're going to get that in Paula Jordan. Yeah. 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 Once I am governor, this is why it's a big part of my platform with local control to shift the decision-making authority back to our local communities uh, as they see fit. Given that we're, we really are 50th and about everything in the country, once governor, there is a slew of everything on my list, meaning that I want to ensure that our people vote November 6th to expand Medicaid and that as governor I will continue to support the development of expansion of Medicaid in our state. I want to get to universal pre-K and develop a, a platform uh, that will address education for the next four years and look at sustaining long-term economic security, which is building a retirement plan that is quasi-public and quasi-private, and of course uh, getting to energy. Uh, I think energy in our state has been um, certainly an option that we can expand in, but has yet to have a, a regional conversation. So I want to hold those conversations so that Idaho is positioning itself to be a leader in energy and a leader in ag.